greetings, greetings, thanks for taking the time out to attend this very important press conference. Um, basically, as the job of the leader is parted, I am tasked with drawing the line in the sand at times to show where it is that the BEP stands. Before I get into the state of the economy, I'd just like to, for clarity, uh, add on to what Brother Papa and Brother Bobby said. In a participatory democracy, when it comes to the matter of the morality and spirituality of the society, there's one of three things that can happen. Either through what we're proposing, a referendum on matters of social issues, whether you want to refer to the social issues as life choices, as some of us may think, or as human rights, as others of us may think, it doesn't matter. We live in a society where the morality and spirituality were enshrined in our Constitution. If I could just read a quote from the Constitution, I think it's section 3 of the Constitution. It says, by this Constitution, it is recognized that men and institutions remain free only when freedom is founded upon respect for moral and spiritual values and upon the rule of law. So there we have three issues, right? Moral and spiritual values and upon the rule of law. Now I listened to our Prime Minister last night hiding behind the rule of law and totally committing moral and spiritual values that were critical in the formulation of our Constitution. So I'm saying that if the people do not vote by way of a referendum to determine matters of social issues, especially of the magnitude where we change the moral and spiritual balance of this country, if the people by way of a referendum do not say where our morality lies, the onus then falls on our elected members in the National Assembly, the 31 elected, especially because we know the 13 it is 12, well, it should be 13 appointed senators kind of have to rather stop what the 31 elected members did. But today, to put clarity to the matter, the least, the only thing that can reverse that ruling by the Chief Justice is if the legislators do like they did with the DPL Acquisition Act and legislate where the country morality and spirituality is at and then put it out of the judge's hand. Because every judge, including the CCJ judges, will have to rule based on the fact that Belize has signed the United Nations conventions that has already defined like choice matter of same-sex uh, activities as a human rights. So let's not fool ourselves. The Prime Minister was hiding behind that piece of legislation that he knows has tied every judge that would ever rule on that matter, that it is a matter of human rights as opposed to a life choice. Now I'm saying to you all today that it is the duty of the government of the day to push through that appeal because we know the objective would not be to appeal to reach the CCJ. The objective would then be to appeal to sample the people and see where the people stand. And then, if they have to legislate on what side of the moral and spiritual issues this country lies, then they make the legislation, and any judge thereafter would have to rule that the law of the land is as the people referendum has determined it, and the legislators are just going to do their job of fixing the laws the way the people want. So no matter what fools, the Prime Minister is playing around, he set up the churches to go through an appeal, and knowing that the churches will lose at the CCJ because the only thing that can reverse one judge ruling on our morality is if the legislators legislate where the country's morality is at. And that is the reason the BEP is going to put off a people's referendum with the help of people who would want to see this issue rectified, and I mean rectified the way it should, by way of the majority of our people saying that today, 2016, we do not think it's a life choice, we think it's a human rights. Or today, 2016, we do not think it's a human rights, we think it's a life choice. Then we can get to that second issue, right? That second issue, whether or not we want to legislate penalties of confinement 
for those like choice or human rights issues that engage same-sex couples, all right? So there's two distinct issues with these. The first issue is, where is our moral at in 2016? Are we, the majority of Belizeans, saying that the issue of same-sex engagement uh, activities is a human rights or is it a life choice? Patrick Rogers believes it's a life choice. I have many friends, as all of us here, and family members who engage in those life choices. And we love them, we respect them, we don't want to see them go to jail, but at the ending of it, in our determination, it is a life choice, much like the life choice of smoking marijuana. It's a life choice. Now, that life choice is criminalized, right? So was that same sex lifestyle. But the Prime Minister again playing around because we did our research too, and yes, there were maybe two incidents where individuals were arrested for those acts, but they never reached, you know, being in front of the judge to get charged and, and, and pretty much confined, as the law says. So nobody was being confined. To take it to the next level now and say that, you know, it is legal, now we don't know what else our society will face with brothers and sisters. And what we are doing is in line with the principles enshrined in our constitution and in the BPP's constitution, the principles that we have, the supremacy of God and the equality of man. But brothers and sisters, the problem with democracy is that there's a mix, right? Where you have communism focusing on solidarity over the expense of freedom, equal rights and justice. You have capitalism focusing on freedoms over the expense of equal rights and justice along with solidarity. So we at the BPP are in the middle, all right, where we believe that equal rights and justice should trump, should trump freedoms and solidarity. Understand that. Because your freedom to do as you please is not okay because you have one right to do that. I mean, they young boy smoke weed on the street, Canada, to them right, which is a choice. It's illegal, so if the police come, they arrest them and charge them, fine. Let's put that on the referendum too, because it's costing the society too much to have our young brothers being arrested by policemen that smoke marijuana, exactly. taken in front of a judge that smoke marijuana, exactly. or a magistrate that smoke marijuana, sent to prison and is being uh, looked after by warrants that smoke marijuana. So that is hypocrisy. That is a life choice that I would have preferred to see be prioritized on a referendum instead of this agenda that nobody had been calling for people to go to jail for same-sex activities. Nobody. Because as they said, we have family members who engage in these things and we love and respect them. But if we're going to be about setting what this country morality is all about and what life choices are acceptable or unacceptable, then we're saying it's time for a referendum and if the Prime Minister is going to hide behind the judiciary knowing that they want to borrow money and all the lenders, the Europeans that started this thing that it's a, it's a uh, human rights. The, the UN, that the US and the, the European nations control have legislated that it's a human rights. And so we want to be borrowing money. And so they don't have any problem with the judge being blamed. When the poor judge cannot be blamed, the, you believe you can't blame the judge. Every judge sitting there would have ruled the very same way because we've signed the convention that has defined it as such. So now let the Prime Minister fool and not play with words. He's hiding behind the poor judge. He don't want to take one question that you was asking. The way I am sitting here today telling you that where Patrick is concerned is not relevant. It's where the majority of our people will vote that the only moral the country is. But I don't, I'm not ashamed of saying Patrick has one man who believes in a family values in the supremacy of God, I see it as a life choice that I don't have a problem with. I'm, I'm not going to say it's a human right that I don't have a problem with. But clearly, I know my spirituality and my moral compass tells me it's a life choice. But that's not relevant to a Patrick case. It's not relevant even what the BPP position is. What is very much relevant in a society like Belize in 2016 that has been regressing to dictatorial democracy, we would like to see a shift back to participatory democracy where the people can weigh in on where the moral and spiritual values of this country lie. I will not sit by idly and accept a judge ruling, and his ruling is heavily influenced by conventions that this country has signed on to determine where the morality and spirituality of this country is at. So I just wanted to add that to what Brother Parker had said, and 
Brother Bobby had said, let's not be fooled. He can go to the House, he would require PUP and UDP elected members to vote where the morality of this country is at. If they won't take the initiative to do it, the DPP hopes that by way of this people's referendum, if the results weigh one way or the other, that they will take that as an instruction from our people to go past that law and put that matter out of the judge's hand before it reaches the CCJ. That's the point we wanted to